Hey guys, Block Central here, and I am back with some Crypto Space Commander's Alpha gameplay. Uh, I'm back because I got a couple of updates to share with you guys, figured out a few things, and, you know, just uh, let you know what's up going on in the game. So first off, and probably most importantly for my case, is last time, if you saw the last video, uh, first off, that was the a uh, private developer uh, room, uh, like server that I was using, that wasn't the actual open alpha, and second... As you can see here in the last video, I was mentioning that I could only look in one direction. Apparently, if you hold shift and then right click, you can actually look around. So now, as you can see, you can actually look up, you can look down. You can only move in one direction. So if you move the ship, say, this way, uh, you know, backwards, see, it goes like in a circle in like one plane. Uh, if you shift your directional view, that doesn't change the movement. So there might be a way to, you know, fly up or down or, you know, in... Uh, omnidirectional movements later when the actual game launches however right now it is singular plane movement uh, last time in the video I also mentioned that I was flying by earth this is the earth that I was talking about uh, so as you can see you got the planet rendered you got lights you got uh, the different countries continents you can't land on it you can't mine it you can't do anything with it at the moment you just pretty much fly through it however it's there it looks beautiful and uh, yeah it's quite interesting so over here, if uh, we can go and fly to it, and see if I can send my way over there real quick. You can open the map, enter Slipstream, and then that's the you know nice way to be able to travel uh, quite quickly through the game. So as you can see, now I'm moving at a considerably increased rate away from my target. So that was obviously the wrong location I was trying to go to. Yes, indeed it was. I was trying to go over here. So, you know, the directional movements are still a tiny bit wonky, but, you know, they're working out a lot in the game. So, uh, as you can see, also, potentially, I am in my Reaper Interceptor. This is the actual ship that I bought uh, during the pre-sale. So, since I am now in the actual official, uh, you know, Alpha and not uh, the developer, um, you know, room, uh, I can actually use my ship. So, I went and I equipped my ship, my Interceptor. Let's see if I can fly over there so I can check out this place with you uh, it's the only ship I currently have because it's the only one I actually want because it is my ship and uh, yeah so I actually also got some uh, you know weapons and whatnot equipped I was able to figure out how to get that set onto my ship Ooh, it doesn't want to let me go over here come on faster there we go I'm gonna have to slow down soon yeah there we go Smidge and closer. There we go. And I'll stop. So you can see the this is the station close by Earth. It looks quite beautiful. I can't fly down there nor up here. Uh, one directional as I mentioned. However, I can dock here. This is the GFI station. And now when I enter, my ship would show up down here. However, I am already in it. I can go to equip modules. So these were things that you can buy in the marketplace. These modules here. If they decide they want to load uh, so there's you know uh, in the last video I showed they had a huge marketplace full of items uh, I bought them just a few minutes ago when I was testing out the game for some reason they don't want to show up at the moment which is probably why the ships not showing up here anymore but uh, yeah equip modules right now I have a miner a mining tool along with appears a second smaller one and then I want to say a king yeah Vulcan basic cargo uh, what do you got? Q1 or G1 mining laser and then G2 mining laser. So yeah, bigger uh, mining laser, smaller one, and uh, the basic cargo. So obviously for um, haul sizes. Haven't been able to mine any resources or rocks, asteroids, planets, anything like that yet. I'm not sure if there is an ability to do so during the alpha. However, just flying around and checking out the graphics and the you know the the look of the game is really all I need at the moment for this alpha uh, as you can see it shoots you back out looks pretty cool I really like the way that they've uh, created earth in here as well as you know the rest of the galaxy or whatever solar system they've decided to add because if you go up to the map you got the system view so this is the current uh, you know solar system that we're in but then you can go to galactic view and you can check out all these other different galaxies so you got this one right here, for example, you can click on it, 4.24 light years away, Proxima Centuria, we can engage in faster than light, 
and then my reaper interceptor is going to start speeding up it's gonna hit uh you know light speed as you can see the little gauge here is probably gonna start going up it was at 80 something percent now it's at 57 i am going 35,000 times the speed of light or so it says and then you can see this gorgeous uh you know little light tunnel now they can actually omnidirectionally look looks pretty nice it's just this nice uh light beam obviously going into uh, you know warp drive hyperdrive uh, light speed you know drive faster than light drive as they call it in the game and then you can go and click on the map and you can actually go to galactic view even and watch yourself fly over there so as you can see got my little arrow oh well it was moving in uh, real time last time I was checking it obviously you know bugs got to work some things out but uh, yeah you know now I'm here in the new uh, solar system I'm going to open the map you can see what's located over here so you got a few planets uh, you got another you know couple of docking stations you got whatever this appears to be go and check that out super quickly if we still have a minute or two which obviously I do just kind of go and see what's up all over this uh, you know planet this uh, universe not planet but yeah so I mean this has been super fun so far uh, I'm glad that I actually have my ship in the game now. It's definitely a lot smaller than I was imagining, especially compared to the ship that I tried out in the last video. However, it was the smallest ship I believe it said in the description when I bought it. And it is built for speed and, uh, you know, agility, being able to be strong and versatile and get there and get back compared to uh, holding large, large amounts of cargo. So. I'm not too upset about it, I'll obviously be getting some more ships once the actual game releases, but for the moment, you know, I'm fine where I'm at with, uh, you know, this ship. Obviously, you know, I'm not even going to have to worry about that until the actual game gets released anyway, so it gives me a little bit of time to save up some crypto for another ship. That way I can hop on, have a nice little army, uh, battalion, fleet of uh you know space ships and um start mining some resources and making some profit in this game let's see if we can all stop come on can't do anything to it can't uh fly into it click on it dock on it nothing uh, apparently i'm gonna fly to it yeah see it looks like i'm just able to orbit it Oh well, so not too much to do, obviously as I said I haven't been able to find out how to mine, uh, nor how to blast any, you know, cannons, lasers, any weapons that I may or may not be able to equip, but uh, yeah, the game looks really great, I want to let you guys know about those updates, and uh, so yeah, if you hop on now, uh, they should have that bug fixed, you'll now be playing obviously in the live alpha, so any ships you migrate over should show up. And you can go and you can check out the universe in here. Go and look up into the sky, down uh, below at the endless, vast nothingness of, uh, you know, space. And, uh, you know, check it out. See what's up. See if you guys enjoy uh, the feel of it and kind of get yourself excited for the main launch. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely be back if I have any other updates, any uh, extra info, if I figure out how to mine or get some resources or anything like that in the game. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And, as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So, peace out.